All right, guys, I just saw the first two episodes of The Wheel of Time. I just got back from not only the premiere, but the after party. I have so much to talk about. <sighs> Let's just roll the thing. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to this video. This is going to be my non-spoiler review slash reaction to episodes one and two of The Wheel of Time. I am literally in my hotel room in London, just got back from the premiere and the after party. Forgive me if I'm a little loopy, is what it is, but I wanna talk about these two episodes. Um, I will talk a lot more about the premiere. I have another video that will kind of cover that, but I wanted to hit uh, a few points and then I wanna talk about the episodes in general. Spoiler warning. This video will carry a spoiler rating of green with no major spoilers for the show or the books. So you can watch this video without having seen either and not be spoiled at all. Okay, so I will keep this, as I just said, completely spoiler free, but my first reaction in a word, wow. I threw this out there on Twitter. This was an amazing experience. The first two episodes were great. The performances were wonderful. The CGI was wonderful. It is different. There are some things that are different. There are a lot of things that are the same. You guys have heard that before. There's nothing different here in that regard. Nothing you're gonna be shocked about if you've been watching content. What I was gonna say though, is that the show is in great hands. The cast who I had a chance to talk to get their characters, you see that on the screen. The show is paced pretty well. I had a few criticisms that I will address in my spoiler review, which will come out here in a couple days. But for the most part, by and large, I loved it. There is a little fanboy in that. Um, I'll say this. So in the middle of the first episode, probably 20 minutes in, um, I got emotional. Um, and it's, it's really weird to say that, but because I'm not a super emotional person, but I was sitting there in the, in the theater, which was this gigantic IMAX experience, the largest theater supposedly in Europe. Um, we got to see it and we're, we have the cast sitting next to us down the, down the aisle and all these other influencers and creators. And I'm watching the show and it's like, this is the wheel of time. And it, it, it hit me, it's like, wow, this is on screen, this is real. We get to watch this and I can go home in a couple days and watch this over and over again. So I was super, super excited about that. Like I said, I got emotional watching it, which doesn't happen for me often. I thought that the shows were paced well. Like I said, I mentioned that before. They definitely have to rush things a little bit. Um, I don't wanna get into anything that's approaching spoiler territory, but um, the second episode I really liked. Um, I thought they introduced some cool elements, which you'll see. It really is, at the end of the day, really well done. Uh, two standouts to me, actress-wise. Um, and I, you'll notice I said actress. Everybody was good. So I want to be very clear. There was nothing that was bad uh, from an acting perspective or a writing perspective. None of that. I mean, it was great. I thought Madeline Madden and Zoe Robbins really stood out. Um, they were great. Um, actually, having chatted with both of them too, they're great people. They are, they are so perfect in terms of casting to me right now. Like it's hard for me not to have them as headcanon from here on out book wise. And I, I, I mentioned in a previous video, they kind of already were, but now that's 100% true. I don't think I could see it any other way now. I especially thought Madeline nailed Egwene. I mean, there's just, it's it's really well done. So I thought Madeline was great. Really though, every every single one of the performances was up to par. I, I wasn't disappointed in any of them. In fact, I thought all of them were great. Emmons Field looks, or I'm sorry, the Two Rivers <laughs> looks amazing. The uh, things again that you've seen in trailers, so I don't wanna get too much into anything that can approach spoiler territory, because like I said, I wanna keep that for the spoiler review, but there are definitely things that look great. Um, I thought the visuals were stunning. Um, you can definitely tell that a cinematographer was at the helm for these episodes. Uh, I got to actually speak with Uta Brezowitz, which you'll see in my recap of the whole event thing, which will come out later. But um, I got to talk to her a little bit about how she kind of approached it. And uh, again, it's hard to separate the emotion from what I, of what I just saw combined with the rest of the night where I'm meeting the cast, I'm talking to Rafe. I'm ta I mean, it was just an amazing night from that perspective. But I think here, here's kind of my final verdict, I think, in terms of the show itself. 
Uh, I think if you are going into this uh, prepared in the sense that uh, you knew that it's an adaptation, you're going to love it. I, I, I really truly think you will absolutely love it. Um, if you're going into this wanting to not like it, you're going to maybe look for things that you might not like, but the reality is this. Most people watching this from the first time, and, and to be frank, most of the people at the premiere were first time viewers. They had not read The Wheel of Time before. Loved it. I mean, the reaction was awesome. Um, so I think you're really, really going to love this. I think the show is in great hands. I think uh, the places that they're going to go with this and the world they're setting up are immaculate. So if you want my verdict um, for the first two episodes, I, uh, I'd i say it's definitely a couple thumbs up. I'll, I'll get into more when we get to eggplants and, and full spoiler reviews when, when the episodes are actually out. But I, I wanted to record this here tonight just for everybody to kind of see. I, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. So um, feel free to call me a shill. I guess I am. I'm here, but it was worth it. And I, I can't wait for you all to see what I got to see. With that, I'm going to kind of end this uh, non-spoiler review. I, I wanted to get this out there so you all could see it here. More videos to come on the topic. When we get back, the show comes out. So even more videos coming then. But uh, so it'll be kind of like an avalanche here for a while. And I would like to get back to doing uh, lore videos, but that'll come after the season's over. There's just so much to cover with this and it's so exciting right now. And so there's that. Well, hey everybody, thank you for my stream of consciousness, unscripted, just sitting here in my hotel room recording this. Uh, I wanted to get this out to you all and I really, really hope uh, you guys love it as much as I did. Thank you for watching, patrons. You guys rock. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel to get more things coming, um, including full spoiler reviews, which will come out soon. Um, until next time, peace out.